Good morning, artists. I'm really interested in animation, and I bet you are too. So today we're going to imagine that we are animators, and it's our job to design a character for a TV show. There are lots of styles for drawing and animating people, but one that I've been interested in lately is anime. This Japanese style is known for exaggerated facial expressions, and in particular, large eyes, and sometimes spiky and colorful hair. I'm only just starting to dig into anime, but I'm already really loving the stories and the imagination and the creativity and the symbols that are used. So my challenge for you today is to design your own character. In my example, I'm gonna borrow some elements from anime, and if you want to, you can too. Here are the characters that I came up with. I made these following five steps. Step one, combine shapes to make a body. Step two, do a first pass for details. Step three, do a second pass for details. Step four, inking, or just going over your outline. And step five, shading with a pencil. This is definitely not the only way to design a character, but it is one way, and it's the way that I used. So I'm gonna show you my process right now. Okay, for step one, I'm combining shapes to make a body. So I'm combining that circular head shape with kind of that bowling pin shape. I'll be putting some little club feet on the bottom. Those lines can be arms. I'm keeping it pretty simple. Now I'm about to start step number two, which is doing a first pass for details. I'm going quickly over the whole body, not really stopping too long in any one area, just so I can do a quick pass for all the details. Now I'm about to start that second pass. Now I'm doing more of the details on the clothes, maybe on the hair and the face, maybe add some definition to the shoes, that kind of thing. And I decided after working on that one that I didn't really like that one, or at least I wasn't feeling it then. I'm gonna come back to it later. But it's always okay to start again, and that's why I started making this little astronaut drawing. This was a little easier, kind of got me out of my funk, and sometimes you have to do a couple brainstorm sketches before you find something you like. Okay, adding a face. Gonna have some nice big eyes, a little bit exaggerated there. You get the idea. Let's give him an oxygen pack too. Great. All right, now I'm ready for my next step, which is inking. Going over the outline. I use a Sharpie or a, a Micron pen. If you have something like that, you can use that, but you could even do this step with a pencil. The most important thing is just you're going over the outline of your drawing. Before we were going really lightly with pencil, now we're just darkening up a little bit. Now we're, we're sure that these are the lines we want, so we're just emphasizing them. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that outline, so we can move on to the next step, which is shading. I'm gonna pick up that pencil again and just go over some of these areas. If I wanna make it look three-dimensional, one kind of easy way to do that is just by darkening the edges. Things kind of tend to get darker as they move back in space. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding a little bit of volume to his boots, uh, to the oxygen tank behind him, to everywhere where the spacesuit has a little fold in it. You get the idea. If I go a little too dark, I can erase it. I'm going to show you now how I uh, fixed the one that I was working on before, the one that I didn't like so much. I decided to just try some different things. Maybe try to make this person happy instead of that grumpy face. And then I messed up the nostrils. So I ended up making kind of a cat nose. That gave me an idea of how I could just take it in a different direction. So now this is some kind of humanoid cat hybrid. I'm gonna make those hands pause. There we go. And just like always, I'm showing you these examples, just hoping that this might be kind of a helpful process for you, but you certainly don't have to do it this way. This isn't the only way to do it. Um, your imagination can come up with some unique characters that don't look anything like mine. But if this is helpful to you, great. Whether you decide to do this project that I demonstrated or something else, the most important thing is that you are spending some time today doing something. Please film your artwork either as a photo or a video so you can submit it back. And I really look forward to seeing what you made. Have a great time.